take it to the next level and action welcome to youtube celebrity gossip news with me tommy how's it going tommy it is going great chris the weather is a little bit rainy but other than that things are picking up but at the same time things aren't fully open yet because there's only curbside pickup as well as take out and go so there's no dining and eating right now where i live right same here um things are opening up slowly the weather has shifted it's been nice for the couple last couple days not only that if you want some food and if you want some restaurant food you know just get on uber eats get some great food so let's go to work and here we go So welcome back everyone. Tell me, what do you have for this week? Okay, well, John Kirsten, uh, who's one of the actors on uh, The Office, you know The Office, with Steve mm -hmm. Carell. Yeah, well, Steve. <laughs> uh, John started a YouTube channel back in March during this whole, back in the beginning of this whole pandemic, you know, back when people were starting to stay at home and stuff back in Mar middle of March into March. So he started a show, a uh, YouTube channel, and he called it Some Good News, basically where he focuses on good news about uh, people, you know, in lives and stuff, uh, surprising fans of Hamilton, a super fan with a live uh, performance of it from the original cast. Uh, he's also uh, helped uh, people uh, get to have a really great wedding who are fans of the show, The Office. He's also had uh, Steve Carell on, one of uh, his co-stars from the show. And he's also has a merch uh, store which has uh, merchandise such as t-shirts and other things. There's artwork designed by fans of his and been raising money to give to organizations of these people's uh, choice, whoever buys the, the, the merch. Uh, that um, certain amount will go to a charity of their choice, as well as Starbucks Foundation matching up to one million in funds. Uh, he's decided to take a temporary break from uh, his show, Some Good News on YouTube, because uh, he just needs to take, but he's not going away, he's not ending it, he's just taking a temporary break. Uh, he announced this in his last and eighth episode for now. Um, he announced that he's taking a break uh, along with giving some good news of people who actually survived, survivors of coronavirus. So uh, he'll be back, and he's thanking everyone who's watched and says to them, uh, I appreciate you, you're the good news, uh, and don't worry, I'll be back soon. Well, Tommy, that's really awesome that he has a YouTube channel that he's, you know, getting out there and talking about a lot of different topics and that he has actually had Steve Carell on his show as well. Um, Steve Carell is very talented, very funny, from his movies, from The Office. So I love The Office, you know, just because it's filled with comedy, drama, etc. But, you know, they have fun with everything that they do on the show. So that's a really great thing that he started up his own YouTube channel, that he has uh, found a way not to be bored when we're all quarantined. And not only that, um, I look forward to watching some of his episodes as well. Oh yeah, and then in this also short amount of time, he has amassed over two million subscribers and in less than two months, has gotten over 67 million views. Uh, basically, he's uh, helped raise fundraisers and stuff, and he's done things with Starbucks as well. So it's a pretty great thing. I really uh, appreciate that he's letting people who are his fans create his merch, and, you know, the art that goes on his merchandise, and then using that money to uh, gift it back to charities. Exactly, exactly. That's great. And all, and it's, it's really cool so um 
Well, probably like watch some episodes, right, Tommy, and then mm -hmm. kind of do a review off of it. I mean, what do you think? Yep, sounds like a plan. Right, so moving on, Tommy, we also have Murray Sawchuk. Murray is also a famous magician to where he's done some work with Siegfried and Roy. He's done some work around the world, entertaining everybody. But lately, he has moved to Vegas, and he also has, he's gone to the Tiger King Zoo out in Oklahoma City to where he wants to uh, leave off where Siegfried and Roy did before Roy passed away to where um, he wants to work with Joe from the Tiger King as well. And they want, he wants to do some um tiger uh acts as far as really great acts in vegas so basically he wants to be on that next level as far as sick free and roy go and there hasn't been any contract yet they haven't made a deal yet not sure when they will and that's impressive if he wants to uh go there but i hope he knows what he's getting into because tigers are not the easiest of animals to work with wild animals in general should not be worked with whether it's for performing or or whatever uh, unless you are a rescue uh, worker that's a whole other ball game as far as performing i mean you really got to be careful with what you're getting yourself into but if he wants to do it uh he should go ahead i agree with you tommy so um it takes a lot of work of working with them training them um, they're not the easiest animals in the uh, in the world, so I could see what uh, Joe Exotic went through. I could see where uh, Carol Baskin has gone through the experience of taking care of those tigers. Well, I hope he has the best of luck and his career, you know, takes him in the direction he wants to go in. Last weekend. Um, a guy who had produced one of the very first uh, viral videos, uh, Paul Vasquez, also known as Double Rainbow Guy, had passed away uh, due to what he experienced. Uh, he thought it was a heart attack. He also had a fever, and his blood oxygen level was low. So he was supposed to get tested for COVID, but he died um, the, on Saturday, the 9th, before he got a chance to get tested. So. Uh, so who Paul Vasquez is, uh, he's a YouTuber that basically was one day uh, outside of his uh, house, which is in Yosemite, uh, and he sees this rainbow and then just has this really reaction where he's just like going crazy um, all of a sudden. It's like, double rainbow, double rainbow. And, and it just, it went completely viral. I mean, this video was shown everywhere. It made the news. It, may, it was all over. I mean, that's how big it got. So that's who he is. He's the guy who made this, this, this short little video about just things that people see a lot of time. But um, other than that, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. They can like this video. They can ring that notification bell to know when we post another video. Take care, everyone. This has been a uh, top level media. Bye. Bye.